Hi people, how are you doing? Welcome to my episode 26 of this season 3 of my Let's Play. I'm Shagrots and I will be your host today. You can see here we, uh, my quarry has already made a quick job of almost everything. However, it has been working like so for a long time. Let me, let's see if we can uh, take a look at the statistics. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where are the hours? Well, just believe me, I left the game on for literally hours without stop after placing that uh, quarry and these uh, little generators in there. And mind you, I took the items from here more than once. Oh, this I took. No, perfect. Okay, shift control click doesn't seem to take uh, the target, which is good. Whoa, 12 dark matter and 3 red matter, great. So we have uh, quite a handful of uh, stuff on our hands. I also uh, normalized a little all this area in here, essentially taking dirt from the quarry's production and placing it in the grounds manually. Yeah, I know I could have made a machine to do that for me, but I didn't really want to. Uh, we can see there's quite a lot of taint in here and we need to use it. So essentially that's what we are going to do today. First, let me place all these diamonds, dark matter, bones and red matter. And you can see I place several more uh, brains in a jar. Uh, I also notice uh, this little percentage number down in the left, uh, in the down, uh, lower left corner of the screen. You can see uh, the, there's 13% taint right now. Uh, it was 15 a moment ago, etc. By removing all these uh, brains in a jar, which, by the way, are treated like uh, bookcases, so they can be removed far more quickly with a chainsaw. The taint dropped to 4% and then started growing again the number. N now you see it's an 11%. I believe it's uh, the more we use the items in here, the more taint uh, we generate. A necessary evil, some somebody? Anyway, that's the reason I am going to try and research um, a modification, a core, that lets you modify <coughs> uh, one of the thingies around here. Let me think for a second which one was it. Um, ah, yeah, this condenser. You can apply it uh, some sort of core and it will drain taint and turn it into this. Anyway. That's not uh, what we are going to do today. First, I'm going to craft. You can see I have already here all the materials. An enchantment table. Yay! Uh, I also am going to leave something cooking by itself. To be precise, I am going to make some refined iron. And let's see. What's this? Oh, of course, I need some bronze for this to work. Oh, they are. Okay. Uh, let me see. Was it like this? For those of you who remember Industrial Craft, I am trying to make a composite. Yeah, mixed metal ingots. Great. And I shouldn't have taken all the refined iron from here, but oh well. Anyway, 64 mixed metal ingots, we place them in the compressor. The compressor, by the way, is not tied to the rest of the system. Uh, it also ha doesn't have any overclocker like the rest, so it will take its merry time and we will need to remove it manually. I could hook it with um, a Mark I logistic pipes or something. Maybe later. So we need to decide what we are going to craft now and that is going to be a recipe I discover 
in the, with the sum, uh, and we can check in the Thomonomicon. And by the way, uh, while the discoveries are completely random, they are not so. You can't rediscover something you already know. So, for example, I won't be discovering any more Quicksilver cores. Now, where is it? What I want to do? Yeah, here it is. We need the extract of purest magic. A conduit and the enchantment table. And yes, I am going to craft a Thomic Enchanter. Now, let me check the wiki for a second because I forgot about the extract of pure magic. Okay, I believe I got it. Uh, bees crystal, or any crystal for that matter, but I prefer bees crystal. Perfect, now it's working. And it's going to need some fuel, so let's help it a little. This is the reason I'd like to take all that bees I have outside and take it in here, but, well, I might do that later. For now, we got our extract of, of extract of purest magic. Great. Now, it was with a beast conduit. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Oops. And you can see I removed the system there. But there we go, 50%. This is where the seals are placed. Uh, seems like placing seals messes up all the system around. So be careful with that. Uh, this required something else. Yeah, a fragment, pipe. There we go. Let's throw everything else in here. And we get our Thomic Enchanter. Great! <coughs> now, the Thomic Enchanter acts in the same way a normal enchanting table does. So, we're going to grab ourselves some bookshelves. You can see we have quite some of them in here. And, at least temporarily, I am going to hook it to this system in here. Let me first uh, place these. Mm. Okay, gotta place it in here, for example. And the usual disposition. I believe it only needs to be two blocks high, or at least I've seen it like so uh, in other videos and the like. Oops. So that's uh, what I will do for now, at least. Whoa ho ho! Also, it's a good idea to have some lighting around. Okay, now we need to hook this to the Thomic system. Where are you, little valve? There you are. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, this also works like wood, for what can I, I can say. There we go, perfect! Now we need to think of something to enchant because, uh, you know, we cannot enchant the diamond reel, for example. See? There's no way. So let's, for example, craft ourselves. Uh, well, of course, uh, this thing is in here will also not uh, be enchantable. Let's try it anyway. Uh, I'm going to craft them nevertheless, so we can at least start doing something useful. And I'm going to craft some. Yeah sticks so we can well in case we want craft something else 
Now, uh, if I remember right, to craft a pickaxe, yeah, we do that. So, let's see. Can I place you in here? Yes, but you won't be enchantable. Oh well. And since I don't really want to enchant a pickaxe, let's try with a sword. A diamond sword. Okay. Perfect. And of course, I completely forgot to change all these uh, glibberies in the minecraft.jar file. So I suppose I'll do that and resume recording. Be right back. Uh, be right back. Oh dear. My tongue is a little twisted today. Okay, I'm back after my complete mental watch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was funny though. And let's see what can we find in here. Oh yeah. Impressive. Let's try this one, for example. Oh, it's uh, already working. Perfect. And let's see, how much service do we have? Ah, I should have more than 118. And of course, it seems like it is only taking bees, no taint at all. So I suppose I can freely start moving moving things like so. And I can change this valve of course to let only taint pass through. That's a possibility. However, why bother? That one in there serves the, uh, the purpose good enough. So as we saw, we can only enchant uh, vanilla items. And we are enchanting now a diamond sword to have some sort of powers. Strangely, well, I suppose it uh, it's reasonable that an anchor sign won't uh, cause any kind of taint power problems. While the more useful this, or I suppose this one in here, will. And let's see how things are in here. Well, wow, not bad. Not bad at all. So you can see in the few minutes I've been recording, about 10 or or 15 tops, we are already produced. Uh, we already produced about uh, nine diamonds in four of these cells, since the other two are one producing. Uh, red matter and the other dark matter. So, whoa! Who wants uh, collectors anymore? Anyway, uh, let's craft some other stuff. If I can manage, yeah. Let's leave one of these in here and, cra and get some of those. Perfect. So, uh, the other item we need to craft is shovel and we need to craft also an axe. No, wait, we don't really need to craft the axe. No, what we need to craft is the hammer. Yeah. Okay, these three can be used to craft, well, the red matter versions and the red morning star. I want to get my hands on that little big bad boy. Yes, I do. Let's see what can we do with this. Well, first, remember, you need to fill the gaps with some diamonds or no, <laughs> dark matter. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Now. This one, I believe, requires two. Didn't it? Yes. Perfect. However, I don't have... Uh, I lack three red matter to make this. I suppose we can try and see what we can obtain with all this. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose I need to manually burn them. And yes, I know I should be making the Mark III collectors and making other stuff different to, well, all this. Hey! Mark I energy collector, for example. Well, okay. And the rest can be placed inside my claim star, if I manage to find it. So let's see if we can craft our... No, I am lacking one item, I believe. Oh. No, I am not. It's those three. Okay, let's uh, make use of this little neat feature. Thank you very much, because I don't know if the recipe is shapeless. Let's try to see if it's shapeless. Well, seems to be. Yep. Red Morning Star. Hi! Now let's uh, say goodbye to all our troubles regarding... Well... Mm, don't, need, don't need you. Regarding mining. So I no longer need the diamond drill at all. I still need the chainsaw though. Okay, so with this... I can take this, make this, and ti -ti -tim. well, let's make something a little better. Haha, -ha, Mark III collector, yay! Learned. The Mark III collector works like the Mark II, however, it will work faster, really faster. So let's go here, for example. Remove one of these and place the Mark III. Even if we placed all of them as Mark III, I believe we won't be getting as much of a um, speed as we were before. Shame, really. But such is the price of progress. Mm, don't I have the. Yeah. Well, can have this uh, loaded little oh perfect I didn't remember I had to place all that stuff there and of course silly me I removed all the glowstone from here and I am going to store my diamond drill in here perfect yes you know you see I placed there some wood because well I was a little too saturated the time. Oh, creeper. Creeping. Dying. So, it looks like we have lots of taint in here, but we are slowly removing it. And we have the diamond sword with, oh, vampiric. Now the vampiric enchantment is uh, from Thorncraft, and essentially it will sometimes steal life uh, from your enemies and give it to you. Just great. Can I enchant you more? No. I suppose I should be using the sword of the sapphire or something for that. So, oh, if I wanted, if I really wanted to move all that these uh, downstairs without placing all uh, long tubing system, I suppose I could simply, well, you know, uh, place there a thomic creation device, a uh, thomic condenser, was it, or what was the name? There's an item that essentially creates stuff using this I uh, the thumbing duplicator maybe oh well it would be a matter of just uh, duplicating diamonds or something then burn them downstairs anyway I don't really need a vampiric sword I'll store it there for, for now uh, so what else oh yes of course we were condensing some stuff Let's see how this is going. 
Wow, 16. 60 of these. And let me see. Where's my... Yeah, perfect. You can beat there. Oh dear. Yes, you can see I have uh, quite a lot of cobblestone. And you can see why this collector was so fired up. Essentially I throw there the one I don't need. So what am I going to do now? Well, is to place here some stone and turn it into something much more interesting. Reinforced stone. Now you can see we're wasting eight pieces of stone and uh, one advanced alloy per eight reinforced stone. Never again, I'd say. And we can also do the same trick with glass. Let's see, where's the glass? Oh. See? Too much rubber. Let's move the glass, the obsidian, and the three taps to somewhere else. Can have the, these ones in here. And there was an open, empty somewhere. I swear. I know I had a, an empty chest somewhere. Maybe I already used it without realizing. Oh, more than likely. The obsidian too. So, there. Advanced alloy. Oh well, I can use the project table better. We place one advanced alloy in the middle, surrounded by glass. No? What did I... I did something wrong. Oh, it requires two. Ha ha ha. More expensive than I thought. So we now have 14 reinforced glass. What am I going to do with... Uh, no, 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 not the glass, not, not the reinforced glass, just the normal glass. What ga am I going to do with this? Uh, well, essentially, I am going to uh, get my hands on some iron gears. Yes. They should be here. I'm going to need some iron when, once I find it, of course. There we go. And I am going to need some pistons. Uh, yeah, 64 should be more than enough. Pistons. Where are the pistons? There we go. And I am going to need several iron gears. And let me see. Let's ask for. 12, mm, yes, should be good. That gives me 6. Now, if I place this in here, this in there, and the piston in here, I can now get some glass, of course. Why well, I always forgot the glass? And we get combustion engines, yay! Six brand new combustion engines. Let's get rid of these items. I won't be needing any more. Let's get some more glass. Why more glass? Well, there's something we need to do uh, with build craft that is related to the combustion engines. And you can see it. Tanks. Fifteen. Mm, more. Twenty-four should be enough. So, let me see, where's this sand? There we go. Yeah, I should set up some red matter or dark matter furnace so I can craft glass and refined iron uh, as, dem as I demand it. For now, no, no such luck. So what I'm going to do 
is to go, for example, here or somewhere here, hish, and make a room. The room needs to have combustion engines, needs to have tanks, and it's going to need yeah, it's going to need uh, water, oil, and uh, refined oil, and of course we need to craft a refinery. Completely forgot about that. See, I am and a pump, and well, and in fact we need to to ask for two different pumps. And why the reinforced stone? Because I am a little paranoid, essentially. So we need I'm going to go with three. Yes, now craft. Uh, I'm going to need three diamond gears. What else I'm going to need? Pumps, yes. So, not such lucky as supply. I'm going to need uh, two pumps, so six iron. And four sticks. Twenty pieces of iron, just in case. And I believe the pump required uh, something else. Yeah, redstone. Gotta need redstone. Always need redstone. Quicker this way. So. No, this going there. Uh, gotta need three of those. No, in fact, I'm going to need two, but oh well. So if we do this and this, was it like so? No, uh, like this, maybe? Yes. Three of these. Two iron pickaxes, two mining walls, and now with uh, a tank, the mining wall becomes a pump. Perfect. Surplus items can be placed in here, and they will be stored. Yes. As you can see, the trick of leaving one item per stack works well in here. Not so much in, with the coolant cells because they won't stack, but so oh well. And now it's night time and I will be building the house next time in the morning, so I'll resume as soon as the house is ready. As, as a byproduct of beekeeping, we get free pipe waterproof. Yay! So. Let's uh, craft some extra golden pipes and let's uh, turn them waterproof. So I'm in the lower parts of my building. You can see it's a little too big for my taste, but oh well. And I am now running the... Oh well. Gotta uh, need to remove this, I'm afraid. Okay, much better. So essentially I am now uh, running the water up there to the engines and I am going to need to do something with the fuel because, oh dear, it will mix up <laughs> Great job, me. Really great job. Okay, I solved it and hopefully I didn't mess up things so so badly. Uh, well, we, we will have trouble later. Hopefully. Worst case scenario, I can open this here and use it to take the liquids from here. But, uh, well, in fact, gotta do that. Got to take them from here. Mm -mm. Oh, great. Again, great movement. Me. 
Yeah, not in my best moment right now. I suppose I have a headache. Okay, there we go, perfect. So I need to take this down and the only way I can do it is from here, sadly. Oh well. So I am going to do it uh, on the floor. Because if not, I won't be able to pass by, and that wouldn't be very good. So I wanted this to be good, nice, and all that uh, good looking. But I'm afraid, in the end, uh, it looks a little more like a like a small monster. Oh well, can't even get out of here. I made the uh, things to work in small modules. You can see here there's one, the combustion engines, they have water, they don't have fuel right now. And I plan to hook up here uh, power teleporting pipes. This one's similar. And the big guy in here holds the refineries and the tanks. Nothing really complicated frankly but uh, <laughs> it took me a while to mount all this monster up so that's it for this episode on the next episode we're going to start with some uh, additional buildcraft objects yes you guessed it we're going to use valves yay and we're going to uh, start moving items. I need to craft another pump and you might remember there is a quite nice place to start getting oil. So without uh, more delays, thanks for watching and I'll see you next episode people. Stay tuned. Bye.